Hi, I'm Rene Poche with the uh, Corps of Engineers, and we're out on the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway West Closure Complex, the, just south of New Orleans. Behind me, you'll see two canals there. On the on my left, your right, you'll see the Algiers Canal, and then over here, you'll see the, the Harvey Canal. And what the West Closure Complex does here is it blocks storm surge from being able to go into the uh, Jefferson, Orleans, and Plaquemines Parish area. We'll close these sector gates here. The sector gate is 225 feet wide. It is the largest sector gate uh, in the United States. And to, to your right over here, my left, is the world's largest drainage pump station of its kind in the world. And it pumps 19,140 cubic feet per second. A little perspective on that, you can fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in about four seconds when this is pumping at full capacity. So what would happen in a, a tropical event is we would close these gates here, the parishes would continue to pump rainwater like they normally would, they, it would flow this way, be pumped through the pump station onto the other side down the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway. This way it allows the uh, the, the parishes to, to keep pumping their water and get it off the streets as quick as they can. So over uh, on your right, our left, um, there's uh, a, a wetland area. Can you talk a little bit about what the Corps had to do in terms of building when it was uh, dealing with that wetland area? That's a significant wetland area. It's one of 10 on a, a EPA list in the United States. And we had about a hundred foot right away to work in to build that flood wall. It's about a uh, 4,200 foot uh, flood wall that wraps around and ties into a pump station there. So it was a significant challenge to, to construct that flood wall uh, next to uh, the, the wetland area over there and not damage the wetlands.